I figured I would take an opportunity to revisit Conley's uh, machine tool reconditioning book on verifying a plate when you don't have a master plate to compare it from. And in this instance, it's not the most ideal. He points that out. I'm referring to section 9.12, and that's checking the accuracy of a surface plate with a straight edge. Now I have two straight edges. Again, I don't know their accuracy. So there is a, th there's an unknown here and I am completely aware of that. However, I really want to try this out because near the bottom of the text, page 56, if you uh, furthermore, the reader should not misconstrue this to mean that any old piece of iron will serve as a gauge. On the contrary, the straight edge must be fairly accurate so that it will spot truly over a reasonable portion of its surface. The more accurate the straight edge is, the fewer spottings are required and less there is needed to analyze the surface plate. Essentially what it is is bluing up the plate and making uh, spots, checking with doing some spotting and flipping the camel back. At least that's how I uh, interpret this. And if the mark, let's see if you can see that. If the marks uh, repeat themselves on rotation in case, uh, in this case, the little ovals. So if that presents itself on each marking across the entire plate, then you have a relatively uh, accurate surface plate. I'm going to try that you're going to be the teacher. You tell me what I'm screwing up because if you provide that commentary, it helps everyone. I'll be the guinea pig, you know? So there's, there's that information. We're going to take a look at that. All right, I'm not sure how well you're gonna pick up the bluing, uh, the markings that I make, but according to Conley's text, you are to blue the surface plate, not, in my case, the camelback, not the straight edge. So I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna put marking compound on here, and we're gonna start by taking a mark here at the back, clean off the, the camelback, then move down, flip the camel back around, mark, and we'll be, we will repeat that process all the way down to the front edge of the plate. One thing to note, when I put the marking uh, bluing down, it's going to be globbed up until I roll that out. So the area that I put the compound on the plate, uh, I, I'm... I am thinking of that. I just want you to know about that. I am thinking about that and having to get it an even thickness for the marking compound as I go across there. I know I am considering that along the way. Lay a clean straight edge of proven accuracy at one end of the surface plate. Rub it back and forth several times with a longitudinal movement not exceeding one inch. Remove the straight edge, clean it, then relay it alongside the position previously occupied. Again, spot the tool, remove and clean it. Repeat this cycle of operations as often as necessary. Each time laying on a new place. All right. Let's do it. So once I started measuring, I realized that my camelback is not hinging where it's supposed to. Take a look. I'm gonna put it at an angle. That should get full coverage and we'll see if it actually has that pivot within one third, one third in from the, the actual tool. So you can see, 
our pivot is way, way out there. And if I test this side, it's way out. I'm assuming that this guy will need to be addressed at some point. A lot more confident in that one, for sure. We're currently looking at here is my straight edge and it has really nice contact all the way across. And uh, this is my poor man's one inch uh, little marking. It's just a piece of broken plexiglass. I broke off all the hard edges and just scribed a one inch square. I'm not sure if these points are too heavy, meaning that the marking compound is too thick. So I'm zoomed in and hopefully I've got this in focus enough for you guys to take a look here and do a count. My camera angle is slightly off. It's the best that I could do to get straight on shot. As I move this around, man, so much better. I'm not sure why I've got this streak it runs the entire distance of the uh, this this side of the straight edge mow back, but you count that and tell me how many uh, points per inch that is. Uh, they look a little smudged to me. Uh, it looks like they could be broken up a little bit finer, uh, or it could be that my marking compound. The Prussian blue, maybe the application is a little bit too thick of what I applied. So we'll wipe this off and I'll continue to, I'm doing the alternating test with the straight edge now as opposed to the camel back. And we'll take a look at the plate. Then I'll clean that all off and we'll do another run. And maybe I will have removed enough of the uh, marking compound on the second test to get a more accurate reading. It All right. I do have uh, this hook that the hook is on the alternating. I, I marked my this wood over here is two 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 for one of the sides. So it's like a two one two one so I don't forget but uh, I've been using the hook as my point to push the straight edge looking back at this section 9.12 like we started with after having made our marks uh, what we should see are some markings that alternate okay and if they alternate then we can be fairly certain that our plate is relatively accurate. And in this instance, I think that may be the case. I'm pretty sure we are actually. And let's see here if I can get you guys keyed up on this. I'm actually going to increase our brightness a little bit so you guys can see that contrast. Maybe that, I think that works. All right. This streak that you see right here is just the space where from the two markings, I was a little off, so it never even marked that area. It's no big deal. What we're looking for are common markings as the example showed with the oval. In this case, I am getting that. I'm not sure if you can see it. I've laid out a couple sheets of paper here just to show you every other marking. You can see a streak right here. 
that streak is right here and it is up there as well so that's a good thing that's a good thing in fact it's right right there and right here and right here so that's uh that's pretty good now we're going to alternate the paper and we should see hopefully some streak over in this area underneath this paper for these as well so let me go ahead and switch that up okay this is just going to create some contrast and i know i'm mucking up some of the old marking there at this point but what i'm looking for are those that streak marking and i can see it I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right there and it's right there and down here just outside the camera, just right along the edge. You, I don't know if you can see it. There's a glare, but that marking is coming true at this spot. <laughs> this is pretty good. If I did this correctly, I'm fairly confident that my surface plate still holds some accuracy. I'm very pleased with knowing that my points per inch on the straight edge is pretty high. Uh, after having gone through here and essentially from enough markings, I thinned down the marking compound and then I counted my points per inch and I'm getting about 30 between 27 and 30 points per inch on my straight edge at least on one side so that is very good news for me for a home gamer for stuff you I found in a garage at some guy's house <laughs> I'm happy <laughs>